This is the X5 U6, a compact wireless mic system similar to the DJI wireless system and the Rode Go series. It's a bit more dialed back compared to the other two systems I mentioned, but let me show you why you might wanna go with the X5 U6. Are you using a wireless system? If so, what are you currently using? If you're not using a wireless system, what mic are you using? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm going to be setting this wireless mic system up in ways that I tend to use my mics. So it's more than just this setup you see here, which may be a little unorthodox for a system like this, but a versatile mic is a great mic and I wanna see how versatile this mic is. Better yet, I wanna show you how versatile this mic is. Over the past month, I put this mic to the test and I'm going to show you what this wireless system is capable of. Audio is the heartbeat, the backbone, the lifeblood when it comes to video media, and you could even argue portrait media. Think of when you go to a museum, they play music in the background to increase the pleasure of observing the art or the portraiture. With that, audio is the scratch audio you capture, the environmental sounds, voiceover, capturing audio from an interview and overlaying it when you show B-roll or capturing sounds for sound design. Without audio, video is just moving images and photos or a slideshow. But let me rephrase that for this context. Your vlog or your video is just moving images and your B-roll just lacks meaning. So when you're out creating video or media projects where you wanna capture audio, you wanna have a good microphone. A microphone that can be boomed, underslung, on camera, or clipped, and maybe even on a desktop, like how I have it set up as like a, a desktop mic. And with a mic system like the X5 U6, you can use it in all the ways I just mentioned to an extent. And let me show you. I've used it as a boom mic. Booming a mic is having the mic above the talent aiming down at the chin and the chest. You wanna aim there at the, between the chin and the chest to get optimal sound. You may think that you wanna aim at the mouth, but the voice, every all the sound comes from this region here. It comes between the chest and the throat. But I'm gonna boom this above me so you can get a sound or an idea of what this sounds like. This is what the audio out of the U6 sound like when it's boomed right above me, right out of frame. It's like right here. And this is what it sounds like with audio processing. Boomed right out of frame right here. But how about underslinging? Underslinging is similar to how I had it when I had it set up right here, where I had the mic under me and kind of just aiming right at my chin. But I'm going to leave it how I got it set up and I'm just going to drop the boom arm that I have and then undersling it and just get it right out of frame so you can see how it sounds underslung. And here is what it sounds like without any audio processing. At this point, I've had the wireless receiver close to me within close proximity, either above me or below me. And I wanna see how it sounds with it on the camera. This is what the U6 sounds like on top of the camera without any audio processing. And this is what it sounds like with audio processing. So what about an on-desk mic for podcasting or live streaming similar to I had a, how I had it set up already, which is very similar to under sling of the camera, but I have it in view right now so you can see it. And this is what it sounds like with audio processing. And this is what it sounds like without any audio processing. Now for the next one, I'm gonna clip it, how the mic should actually, what, what is the line designed for to actually clip it on your person. So this is how the mic was designed to be used, to be clipped. It was designed to be like this, to clip it onto the talent to get the best sound out of the microphone. But once you learn how to manage your audio, you can get good sound with any mic and set it up in any position. And this is what it sounds like with audio processing with the microphone clipped. And here is what it sounds like without any audio processing. Let me know which setup sounds the best to you in the comments below. So X5 definitely seems to be aiming at content creators with this mic system. It comes with one receiver, one mic, and some accessories to assist you in getting high quality sound for a reasonable price. The U6 receiver is light and compact, has an internal 420 milliamp hour battery that takes about two hours to charge and hold a four hour charge. The transmitter is also light and compact, it's smaller than the receiver. It has an internal 300 milliamp hour battery that also takes two hours to charge and holds about a four hour battery. So when you're using the system, do keep in mind that you have a four hour charge and it takes two hours to recharge the battery. So if you are someone that shoots long shoots or events that takes up more than four hours, then know that 
this is gonna die on you in four hours. So you may just need to charge when you do have breaks when you're not recording. So the receiver and transmitter has a 90 foot signal range, operates on a 2.4 gigahertz frequency and has four different channels you can toggle through with this button right here on the receiver and this button right here on the transmitter. The U6 is a plug and play system with a few clicks of a couple buttons and you're all set to go. There's one major thing I want to highlight and that is the U6 does run hot. So I would say play around with the DB to monitor your audio for peaking and monitor your levels through the camera to get optimal audio. But here's an example of how it sounds at all dB levels based on where I am right now within a room that is not treated at all whatsoever. This is a check, a mic check with the receiver at zero dB. This is an audio check at 10 dB, negative 10 dB. This is negative 20 dB mic checking at negative 20 db okay we are back at negative 10 db i just wanted to give you an example of what it sounds like when cycling through the db level so we're at negative 10 and i find that it looks the best based on the audio signals at negative 10 in this setting but i tend to keep it at negative 20. So yeah, I keep the mic at negative 20 dB when I use it outside, but I found right now as making this video that negative 10 seems like it works better here, but I won't really know until after I actually edit this video. Now, a quick recommendation, I would recommend getting something like the dual audio splitter from Small Rig, which splits the audio into left and right channels, setting up a shotgun mic like the Rode Video Mic Go 2 or the Daddy D3 or D4 to get scratch audio as well. With that, I'm gonna be using this splitter to compare the audio quality of the U6, another wireless system I have, and some of the shotgun mics that I have just to see which sounds better and what sounds better in this setting that I am right now. But you can watch this playlist right here on all of the other devices that I use and capture for my projects. Thanks for joining and subscribing. Stay awesome.